After you log in to FB Site Creator, this is the page you will see. First, you type in a name for your iframe fan page. This is for your reference only. And click Save. Next, you will see the site configuration panel. Here you can pick a color for your background by moving your mouse around this color palette and up and down the slider. I will pick gray. You can also upload your own background image. It just has to be 520 pixels wide. Next, you can select your tab style. There's many options to choose from. I'll pick the white one. And then selecting your reveal tab. You can also upload your own custom reveal tab below. Here's where we put in the Facebook application details. So now we're going to go to Facebook. If you go to facebook.com slash developers, you can set up a new app. You type in an app name. agree to the terms, and create app. I put FB in my app name, which is not allowed by Facebook, so I'm just going to delete the FB and create app. They do that because they don't want users to be confused that that application is possibly something created by Facebook. So here is our first page. You can type in a description, certainly not necessary, especially since your application is a private application for an iframes fan page, not a game like Farmville, which is a public application. You can upload an icon and a logo and also an email address or URL for support, a privacy policy URL, and a terms of service URL. You can also add other people that could be administrators on your application, and you save your changes. On the next page, this is where you get your app ID and your app secret for FB Site Creator. We copy app ID, and we paste it here. We go back to Facebook and copy the app secret and paste it here and click Save. You can see that I've successfully updated the tab menu and everything else. So next, we are going to go to Site Configuration. Configure Site. And back on this page, we'll get the URL for Facebook. So let's copy that and go back to Facebook. Here we click on Edit Settings. And on the left, click on Facebook Integration. Here you type in the Canvas page URL that you create. It cannot match anybody else. The Canvas URL this is where if someone were to type in your Canvas page URL, what would be there? And so I'm just going to paste in what FB Site Creator gave me. You can also leave that blank. If you have a secure Canvas, you can put in a HTTPS here, but FB Site Creator just uses, uses the normal HTTP. So here we select our iframe size. You want to click to auto resize. You also want to disable social discovery since it's a private iframe app. And then this is where you type in your tab name. So underneath your profile image on your fan page, you have all your tabs. And I will name this one Welcome. And this is where we paste in the FB Site Creator URL. 
and then save your changes. I had a Canvas page name that was already used, so I'm going to go back to Facebook integration and change that into something nobody else has. QWERTY XX will be my Canvas URL and save changes. So back at this page, in order to add our iframe to our fan page, we click at Application Profile Page, which will take us here, which is the page for our application we just created. We click on Add to My Page, which will bring up this box of all of your fan pages. And you find the fan page you want to add this iframe to, and you click Add to Page, and then Close. And that is all you need to do to add the iframe from FB Site Creator to your fan page.